Hello, my name's Corinne Fenton and today I'd like to read you this story which I've written called Chasing Shadows and it's been illustrated beautifully by Hannah Somerville and published by Ford Street Publishing. And on the back we have the blurb and I'm just going to read that to you just to give you a little bit of information about the story. So everyone feels sad sometimes, but when sadness lingers, shadows appear. Some of us, even children, chase shadows. But will a wriggly, mischievous surprise help Beth chase her shadows away? straight first. <laughs> On a yellow morning when the sun is new and shadows long, a puppy comes to live at Beth's house. For Beth, it is too soon. For Patches, it's a time to explore, conquer, chase and chew. Some things old, some things new. It's a time to smell painted pansies, prickly pine cones and sugar ants minding their own business. You can see the little sugar ants here and Patches is watching them. Patches chases dappled shadows snaps at a dragonfly and bounds after a wild rabbit. Beth watches, stares, says nothing. This is my favourite page. <laughs> a leaf tumbles, twirls, flutters to the ground where it waltzes with the wind. Patches creeps, a lion cub inching forward. Afternoon sunshine seeping through shutters makes Patches warm, makes Beth weep. Patches stretches, unravels inside out. Sun warmed paws reach out to Beth, but she sees only shadows. See, Beth's got a scarf on like mine, and her dad as well. <laughs> Out walking, the wind ruffles Patch's fur. His puppy paws prance. Dad's boots crunch along the winding road, going nowhere. Muddy paws patter, homeward bound. Beth watches. An outside visit, night time tumble, wide eyes watching, bat ears fly. Moonlight throws shimmer beams over winter paths. Patches drifts into puppy dreams, racing rabbits, a bouncing ball, close up cattles. The house sleeps, except for Beth who lies awake, watching shadows come. A morning dig and divots fly, cobweb dancing, romp and play. Coiling shadow, a tremor in the grass. Dad, help, please. You can see Patches here, he's lying down. What do you think has happened to him? This is a hint. In pale lamplight, candle wax shadows and clock hands creep. Between whimpers, Patches sleeps. Gentle hands stroke his head, ears, tail. 
in the yellow morning, Patches stirs. Dad, Dad, he's awake. Tears tumble, then melt into smiles and laughter. No more shadows. I hope you enjoyed that book. Thanks very much for listening. Bye-bye.